so dear student i am going to explain one sample gate question taken from inverters asked in gate 2016 very good question so you can see it is a single phase half bridge inverter feeding rl load and here we are implementing sinusoidal pwm technique so go through the question clearly here we are implementing we are implementing sinusoidal pwm technique we are implementing sinusoidal pwm technique and they have mentioned the modulating voltage see here what is this sine wave here this sine wave is actually a modulating voltage you can see the sine wave here so here you can see this sine wave this is actually the equation for modulating signal this is actually modulating signal modulating signal okay they have given the equation for modulating signal see the equation for modulating signal very clearly given i'll give the equation for modulating signal vm is equal to 0.8 sin of 200 into pi t so this is the equation for this modulating signal it is sine wave so what is the amplitude of modulating signal see what is our equation here we can write am into sin of omega m into t so this is actually the equation for modulating signal modulating signal or it is also called controlling signal some authors will call it as a reference signal everything is same okay so here what is the amplitude of modulating signal here amplitude of modulating signal am this is equal to 0.8 volts see here amplitude of modulating signal is 0.8 volts then next what is the frequency of modulating signal it is 200 pi so that means 2 pi fm is equal to 200 pi so from this modulating frequency is 100 hertz see on what is the criteria for selection of modulating signal normally we select the modulating frequency based on the requirement of fundamental frequency of the output voltage so that means modulating frequency is same as the fundamental frequency see modulating frequency is same as the fundamental frequency of the inverter okay then next carrier signal is given here you can go through the carrier signal in this case it is actually a triangular waveform it is actually a triangular waveform it is a carrier signal so carrier signal voltage is 1 volt see here the carrier signal voltage is 1 volt so here carrier signal voltage capital ac that is 1 volt so what is the modulating ratio that is am by ac so am is equal to 0.8 volts and ac is equal to 1 so that is 0.8 so that means ma is equal to 0.8 here so here ma is equal to 0.8 okay and that is less than 1 less than 1 means it is actually linear modulation linear modulation you know if ma is less than or equal to 1 we call it as linear modulation in the case of linear modulation how do you calculate the fundamental amplitude of output voltage fundamental amplitude is equal to ma times vs so this formula is applicable only when ma is less than or equal to 1 we call it as linear modulation so fundamental amplitude of output voltage is ma into vs ma is 0.8 into vs actually vs by 2 we have to write okay in the case of half bridge inverter we have to write vs by 2 in the case of full bridge inverter ma into vs see the difference don't confuse in the case of half bridge inverter ma into vs by 2 if it is full bridge inverter formula is ma into vs okay so what is vs by 2 in this case here vs by 2 it is actually 250 volts so here 0.8 multiplied by 250 volts so fundamental amplitude is equal to 200 volts now what is the given question here see find the peak value of 100 hertz 100 hertz means fundamental component of load current 
so we have to find out the peak value of fundamental component of load current so what is the fundamental load current here see fundamental load current amplitude is fundamental amplitude of voltage by fundamental impedance so fundamental voltage is 200 volts what is fundamental impedance for rl load r square plus fundamental reactance whole square so 200 volts by square root of what is r square here r is 12 ohms fundamental reactance 16 ohms so r is 12 ohms fundamental reactance 16 okay so if you simplify this one you will be getting 10 amperes so that is the fundamental amplitude of output current that means it is the peak value of load current at fundamental frequency i hope the concept is clear to you so here we have to remember the formulas for fundamental amplitude so see here fundamental amplitude is equal to ma times vs if it is single phase full bridge inverter single phase full bridge inverter if it is half bridge inverter ma times vs by 2 so this is in the case of single phase half bridge inverter half bridge inverter and these equations are applicable only when ma is less than or equal to 1 so here the, we are implementing sinusoidal pwm technique so sinusoidal pwm technique is very important in inverters which gives a better quality of output waveforms right students thank you